Hey all you folks on YouTube, uh, this is another garden update, right here I just harvested some turnip greens that I planted on April 9th, they were up pretty pretty big but yet small compared to what you get at the supermarket, they, were, they, uh, they made such a big mess till we give our neighbors uh, a mess of greens and we're cooking a pot right now, good old turnip greens, and over here uh, last week sometime or week before last I don't have the date on it I planted these turnip greens these are the kind that uh, make a turnip that you can eat later on and you can eat the greens until then and of course these are what you call seven top and the turnip they make is unedible uh, the update I wanted to show you is I cleaned off my fence here and I'll show you starting starting back here from where the end of this is right here all the way up to here that's Kentucky Wonders green beans and from right here from this post on is what they call uh, yellow wax beans they're a bush type if I'd have known that I didn't pay attention I wouldn't have planted them on my uh, fence and on the inside, on this other side here, this is all uh, Kentucky Wonder pole beans, as is those at the back over there. They'll they'll go all the way to the top, believe it or not, of this fence, which is at least eight foot. And as you go on down to this stop right here, these are all cucumbers. I know that's going to make more than I can use, but I plan on making some pickles. Uh, the first part of these cucumbers is what they call SMR 58 pickler and somewhere along here I didn't mark it the other half is a variety called Sumter I've never I don't think I've ever grown Sumter before but anyway I'm looking forward to it anyway I planted most all of this last Tuesday and Wednesday of last week and it has just popped up out of the ground these beans here wasn't here this morning I mean they came up since this morning they just popped on up and over here uh, this is a row of carrots I know it's small this is a row of two kinds of head lettuce and on the very end is a little black seed Simpson I've got romaine head type lettuce and some iceberg and in this pot here I've got three little uh, romaines and a yellow squash the others didn't come up, but I figure one will fill that pot up. Won't be room, wouldn't really be room for two. And I'll show you <clears throat> what I've got in here. This little bed here is all jalapeno peppers. I'm gonna try to raise enough to uh, put up some pickled peppers. And these are my tomatoes that I planted in April. They're kind of slow, but I think the weather's been cold, warm, a whole lot of rain. They're coming out of it. They're beginning to really uh, look good. These I planted about a week and a half ago. And uh, these two little rows that you see that's wet right there is, is two different varieties of carrots. Uh, Danvers half long. and. Dante's brand. Oh, and over here in this third bed, two cabbage plants, and you see that long row. I don't know if you can see them. Those are, are radishes. And over here, this little short row is uh, Black Seed Simpson and my tomatoes. I just thought I'd grow them in here around my tomatoes before my tomatoes got big enough to, to you know, to shade them. Anyway, I was just giving you a little bit of a garden update. I'm very behind <clears throat> on everything. I've got a pile of trash and stuff here that I've cleaned off of that fence. I've got to get that <clears throat> put out to the curb and uh, get this broke up. I want to get some okra in the ground. And I've got some purple hull peas. I think those two things and maybe some other smaller vegetables I'm going to plant over here between my my blueberries later on 
it, it's been a job getting everything ready but I'm really proud of my cucumbers and my my pole beans and I've never eat those wax yellow wax beans if anybody on YouTube's had them before I'd love to hear what you think about them how they how you liked them or didn't like them uh, several of my friends said they're really good so uh, I don't know if I've even seen them at the supermarket they're they're peculiar looking the the bean itself that you plant was black and I don't know if you can see it or not but the, the seedling coming up it's got a got a purpleness to it. it they're 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 really different than any green bean I've ever planted before but anyway I'll sure eat them little suckers and see if I like them because they they're green bean they're good for you anyway that's just a quick update uh, on everything my, my turnip greens coming along good and I got a lot more stuff oh yeah I've got four egg plants there's two over there uh, way over there that I planted to something's eating the leaves up I gotta get the seven out I've got an ant problem out here uh, I read online before I go that if you put cornmeal down that ants <clears throat> would eat the cornmeal and it would swell up and kill them well I put this out yesterday and I haven't really seen any decrease in ants or activity but maybe it takes time uh, this newly planted peach tree has got some leaves on it that don't look right so I'm just hoping the ants don't kill it anyway thanks for watching get you a, a real good view before I go here <laughs> of my big crop I'm just as proud of those green beans down through there. <laughs>